few other things on this comment from the Queen as well, from Queen Elizabeth. There are powers at work in this country about which we have no knowledge. This is like a proper um, standard Queen line that she's probably practised and got prepped for when her servants are around listening into conversations because, you know, they're at work um, and they're getting a lot of knowledge about things. Other than that, the thing is, um, you know, notice that it doesn't have the word control in it. She doesn't say there are powers at work in this country about which we have no control. Um, if there are any powers in this country um, that they don't have control over, then they'd want to know about it. And also, you know, with the way they're going with all the surveillance at the moment, they're damn well trying to. Um, if there's any powers at work, period, in the workplace that exist, um, they're going to know about it soon enough when they've got surveillance everywhere, like Bezos in his factory watching everyone and everywhere you travel. Um, you know, they're going to find out about it. I'd say that it's, the, you know, um, <clears throat> the best comment I can come out with is that from us, from our position is there are powers at work in this country which we do have knowledge about and have a fair guess and idea about um, who is in control of them <laughs> and we can't do anything about it. <laughs> there are powers at work in this country which we can't do anything about namely like you know the government and Sunak coming out with dodgy legislation and law when he's not even been elected um, you know, um, not having much option for political parties, um, petitioners committee, um, you know, rejecting stuff on no basis at all, except just trying to debate it with you um, when there's no actual underlying rules at play. Quite a lot of things. So, you know, um, there are definitely powers at work in the world which we don't have any control over, and but they do have control over, and they're the main, pri the main powers which we need to be concerned about, which affect most of the people in their everyday life. To do with eating, health, shopping, travel, work, basically your life, what your life's going to be and how you live it, and the influence of a family and friends. Um, there are powers at work in this country which we have a f do understand and do know about, which we have no control over. Isn't that the more alarming thing? that there are powers at work in this country and other countries of which we do have knowledge about, we do understand, and which we don't have any control over. Why? Because they're controlled by people who do have control over them and um, knowledge and power. Um, I would say that to Elizabeth. Um, you know, And if she wants control over absolutely everything, there's a lot of things that they can do, could do, or should have done, which they've chosen not to, um, not make themselves filthy rich, not, um, you know, approve planning for things that are detrimental to our health. What about sperm count dropping through the floor? It, it, the royals are full of absolute jargon. They're liars. And, you know, the, the, like Rand Paul said it best, you know, like, you know, Fauci lied. He's a liar. The, I, I'm sorry, but Elizabeth is was a liar charles is a liar they're liars like fauci and they have got power and control and there are things that they should and could be doing which they're not um the archbishop of canterbury's rule is an absolute joke now with any sense of spiritual um supposedly you know, he's supposed to be the head of the church you know the person in charge of you know the whole you know, sin levels of the world and country. Look at the state of Pope Francis. The, it, 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 these people don't really... They're kind of more like actors in the theatre and it's almost like, you know, in Mr. Ben when they've been given the costume and the clothes, but it's not the real position. If it was, you know, the world wouldn't be like it is. Um they don't, they've got these certain powers and authority and control, but they're not using them, and I don't know why that is, that they refuse to, they're reluctant to, you know, um, and, you know, whether or not, you know, they're scared, because they, they don't want to end up like, you know, um, John F. Kennedy, or what, but there, there is more that they should be doing. Unfortunately, we've got evil people in control, like Sunak, you know, who have got an uh, interest in money, profits, Profits, money, and business deals, all in the name of 
progress, all in the name of space exploration, travel, the human race, but not really in the name of humans, not to make the existence in life on this planet of what we've got left any better. They're definitely not trying to make paradise, uh, and definitely not for us. Well, they are trying to make paradise. They've made paradise for themselves. If any man on the planet could make himself a paradise and achieve it, you know, like Branson, then surely he could achieve it not only for himself, but for many people. Yet, you know, they're more interested in these people who have not only made themselves paradise and got themselves slaves and set us all about working all day, then their main concern is, oh, there are powers at work of which we have no knowledge of because, you know, I, you know, I need to know everything. Well, you know, we start by the things that you do know um, to stop doing them because you're doing them wrong and they're a bad influence on us, you know. If you could start with the powers that are being used on us which are, you know, leading us into temptation and into evil, then that would be a start. So just complete and total, absolute, um, ridiculous woman, you know. I don't know if that Gordon Brown um, comment is true, but there's a recording of Gordon Brown um, saying that the Queen was a very bigoted woman. But the video that I've seen, it's a different um, film strip to the same dialogue. I don't ever know whether it is actually Gordon Brown's true real statement that he actually said that or not. But, um, you know... Gordon Brown, um, you know, that Constitutional Reform Act is a bit sad and upsetting, really, when you took away the the nice little prayer. Maybe that procedure wasn't working very well to the House of Lords, but the theory and basis of it was behind it, you know, salvation. And maybe some criminals, If we'd have, maybe if the church, if the archbishop would have been sending more people into the prisons from the church and trying to get them converted into join the clergy... Um, and repent, uh, maybe they would have been forgiven um, through appeal to the House of Lords and, you know, maybe they'd have been set to work with powers around this country trying to convert people from excess greed, mainly councillors and, you know, big corporate business entities who are spoil ruining the peace, breaking the peace. You know, we've got all these police people walking around. The, the, the thing that annoys me about the police the most is this, right? They're like, they're going... Oh, you're breaking the peace, you're breaking the peace, you know. Oh, really, you know. And the council didn't just, you know, drop, you know, um, 400 build apartments and industrial estate next to his um, street that's breaking the peace with the building site. Oh, well, you know, it's they've got to follow the letter of the law, you know, There's, they've got immunity, they're allowed to make noise. The police, in that respect, you know, yeah, there's no arguing with the police when it comes to murderers and rapists and so forth. But, in the respect of, you know, they're just there to do a job. Um, you know, the police chief, this whole keeping the peace thing is absolute tosh. People object to the council and it gets ignored, denied. People submit petitions to parliament. Um, it, it, there's no there's no actual law supporting the standards basis. It's pure debate. And... We're objecting against the peace being broken, not through criminal procedure, not through civil pe procedure, but through uh, objecting to the council. Well, I object. I object. You know, so I object to you slapping my face. You know, it's a crime. You know, or I object to you. You know, taking off my things. I take to civil court. They're not immune. The, the these people. We're getting prosecuted when we're meant to have immunity, but no one's taking these people to any courts. And with election fraud, and even with the council, they can all be prosecuted in the Supreme Court. That's the point of the Bill of Rights. Evil councillors, ministers and judges um, subverting the liberties of the realm. They're just lying. The main political parties have created this black jargon, which is just any right you've got and any objection or claim that is valid, they just say it's not valid. All they do is they say, oh, oh, that's not valid, or you can't have that one, or, you know, that's not relevant. If you say it's irrelevant, it's not valid, or it's, you know... And this is what the Petitions Committee are running on. Pure fumes of their standards. Now, the local councils are supposed to, um, you know, if people object and don't want things, then they're supposed to uphold that, but they're not. And that's resulted in the noise, in the pollution, in, in the habitual... 
um, bad habits that are built and placed around us. You know, they just build a pinball machine around us where we're pinging around off everything that is bad for us and we're getting damaged. And it ain't just, and it is not cars and vehicles. It is, you know, um, custom machines and really addictive products in the shops that aren't good for us and, you know, waste of time, cinema f- shuffling you through the um, popcorn stand and the um, fill your, you know, boots with sugar sweets from the pick and mix and whatever. Uh, but that was all good. Apparently they, their claim was, oh, this is good stuff. This is the good stuff. These are goods. We're selling goods, but they're not, um, you know, and that's the problem that we've got. To, people are living in a denial and they're just the Starmer is not going to save us. That they're going to continue pushing this building, um, their moon launch stations in Orkney. There, they, they want the world, and they've they've managed to build themselves this paradise. Now Starmer's oh, we'll build powerhouses. We're going to make you some nice houses. No, but you're not the the shit. I've seen the ones they're building. They're crap. They're not even building them nice for the people who move into them. The people who move into them haven't even got nice houses. You know, they're bigger, but they're not even they're not nice. You know, why make a rubbish planet? Why why design rubbish things? Oh, we can't afford it. Rubbish. Um, I tell you who should be affording it, these excess trillions that Charles talking about. And what he's done is he's stolen all of the money that could have built everyone a nice, um, spaced out, beautiful place to live uh, without cluttering the countryside up with, you know, um, you know, um, Solly Hole or whatever you want to call it, Wolverhampton, you know, or whatever, you know, uh, Coventry, no offence to those people, um, you know, and we could have all lived out nice and beautifully and, you know, pretty villages all spaced out and we could still be getting tech. That doesn't mean that the CD players won't end up in the bin. That doesn't mean that the vinyl records won't end up in the bin. That doesn't mean that the C90 cassettes won't end up in the bin. That doesn't mean that, you know, Matt Zuckerberg's uh, Metaverse goggle headset won't end up in the bin. That doesn't mean that anything that they're inventing in the next 10 seconds and then the next thing comes along and then the rest of it ends up in the bin, they're still going to do that. But our the pretty villages don't have to end up in the bin. The houses don't have to end up in the bin. You know, um, they don't have to end up in the McDonald's drive through cluttered up, you know, electric moped, scooter, traffic, 15 minutes, a scram that they've got, and then they're still bringing more people into the country while people are mysteriously dying. It, it, where we, we are being managed by incompetent people. They, they don't have the skills, the knowledge, or the vision required. They, they've got the balls. These people have got the guts all right. You know, these people who stand up to the, um, you know, come up onto the TV on GB News, you know, they, they can stand up to the camera, they can stand up to the microphone. Most people don't want that. Why should you have to sacrifice a nice, normal life with friends um, to be, you know, fodder for these um, magazines and newspapers and television shows, you know? And and deck Saturday night um, takeout, you know whatever it is, um, mindless stupidity. You know these people need to be prosecuted criminally, starting with the MPs.